guide for Dragon by Epoch. Hello there, this is a short guide for Dragon People's Dragon by Epoch class. Dragon by Epoch is simply the Epoch armor equipped with the draconic glow tooth artifact. Dragon by Epoch is a burst oriented epoch capable of dealing high amounts of front loaded burst damage in exchange for its sustain. It is obtained by using a hero mod calendar code from 2021 from now. Class Mechanics Like base epoch, the main mechanic for Dragon Bite Epoch is momentum. Dragon Bite Epoch has a momentum widget above its attack button, which indicates how much momentum it currently has by clicking on it. Dragon Bite Epoch's momentum starts at 0 and caps at 9. Momentum can be generated from some skills and can be used to empower other skills. The skills that use momentum are laser slice, punch, pierce, and gun burst. While the ones that generate momentum are boost, ultra boost, hex, ultra hex, overdrive, combo, hack, laser blades, charge burst, and attack. The only skill that does not consume or generate momentum is paid. Unlike base epoch, Dragon by Epoch gains 3 momentum from using overdrive basically time shift for the other epochs and gains one momentum from every skill that generates momentum also using a potion will generate one momentum the next class mechanic is that dragon bite epoch has double turns unlike the other epochs dragon bite epoch starts with two double turns in the beginning of the fight and gains four double turns from hack basically final for the other epochs stats At level 90, you should use 200 Endurance for both increasing your survivability and providing immobility resistance in boss fights. Invest the other 200 points in Dexterity due to the high uptime of blades. Invest the remaining 45 points in some combination of Charisma and Wisdom for both decreased Dragon cooldowns and Mana respectively. Skills and Rotation the most important skills for Dragon Bite Epoch are as follows. Boost and Ultra Boost. Boost buffs you with damage, defense, bonus and a heal while Ultra Boost increases the buff's strength. For example, Aim Boost goes from plus 40 bonus to plus 200 bonus. Boost is used 3 times to stack up the 3 important boosts and Ultra Boost is used right after that. Overdrive. It grants you plus 75 boost for 2 turns inclusive along with 3 momentum. Laser Slice It applies minus all resistance to the enemy based on the amount of momentum you currently have, capping at 3 momentum for a maximum of minus 15 all resistance. Combo It is used for dealing damage to the enemy. Each time combo is used, capping at 3 times, it deals more damage. Each use generates one momentum. Gun Burst It deals a great amount of damage to the enemy based on the amount of momentum you currently have, capping at 3 momentum for a maximum of 305% damage. Hack This is basically the time shift and final of Dragon Bite Epoch. It grants you 4 extra turns inclusive while dealing a great amount of damage. Unlike the other epochs, the damage does not depend on the momentum you have and it does not consume any momentum. The secondary skills for Dragon Bite Epoch are as follows. Hex and Ultra Hex Hex debuffs the enemy's damage, defense and bonus while Ultra Hex increases the debuff strength. For example, Power Hex goes from minus 10% boost to minus 33% boost. Hex is used 3 times to stack up all 3 debuffs and Ultra Hex is used right after that. Fade it applies a 200 MPM shield for one turn inclusive. Laser Blades It applies a 66.7% weapon plus stat damage dot to the enemy for 5 turns inclusive while generating 1 momentum. Pierce It applies plus health resistance to the enemy based on the amount of momentum you currently have, capping at 3 momentum for a maximum of plus 60 health resistance. Charge Burst It deals 165% damage in one hit to all enemies with no cooldown. Punch 
It stuns the enemy for a few turns based on the amount of momentum you currently have, capping at 3 momentum for a maximum of 4 turns. Do note that this is not an auto stun. Unlike the other epochs, Dragon Bite Epoch immediately uses Hack in the beginning of the fight to gain 4 double turns. After using Hack, Dragon Bite Epoch stacks up the boost and outputs great amounts of damage using Laser Slice, Combo, Overdrive, Gun Burst, and Hack. Here's the rotation on screen. Strengths and Weaknesses Like Corrupted Doom Epoch, Dragon Bite Epoch is a variant designed for burst damage. Compared to every other epoch, it doesn't rely on stacking momentum for its damage or for double turns and starts every battle with two double turns. This means that combined with strategic uses of hack, Dragon Bite Epoch gets 10 extra turns to immediately play around with at the start of every battle which translates to large amounts of damage up front. However, this comes at the cost of other skills being weakened. Laser Slice was lowered to a maximum of minus 15 all resistance at 3 momentum, which limits the front loaded burst scalability. Health boost was nerfed to be half as effective, which makes it basically useless for this variant of Epoch. Double turns are now controlled by the use of hack instead of time shift, which means the double turn uptime is even more sporadic than Corrupted Doom Epoch, giving Dragon Bite Epoch only a double turn uptime of 4 on 8. All in all, this means Dragon Bite Epoch has the worst long term survivability of the Epoch variants, as while your double turn uptime is reduced, you still keep the same cooldowns on your hexes and boosts, which were originally designed with plentiful double turns in mind. Furthermore, Dragon Bite Epoch is recommended for questing due to the immediate damage from Overdrive, Hack and Charge Burst along with the starting 2 double turns. Conclusion This concludes the guide to Dragon Bite Epoch. For more information on the skills and mechanics, check the Dragon Fable Endgame wiki link in the description. What do you think about Dragon Bite Epoch? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and subscribe for guides on more classes. Thank you.